this first video demonstrates the analysis of the pressure volume curve and the PV tool in use. So what this is going to show, it's going to show a non-recruitable lung. So a pause of 13 seconds is used as kind of a recruitment maneuver. So what we'll see with this demonstration is very little hysteresis. Um, hardly any lower inflection point. And very little recruitability. So it's doing the inspiratory pause maneuver right now. And it's finished. And now the expiratory limb. And then my colleague Dave is just using the cursors to evaluate to see if there's any inflection point and to look at the hysteresis. So it's very thin, it's very narrow. So this is lung is not really that recruitable. So they might not respond well to APRV at all. Now what Dave's going to demonstrate, he's going to demonstrate a lung that is recruitable. And just evaluating the last maneuver to see where the lower inflection point was. It was around 12 centimeters of water, so we want our ending peep at 12 centimeters of water, and that's what he's setting it at. And changing the inspiratory pause to see um, for recruitability. I'm going to start the maneuver. So one way we can use the PV tool is to set an optimal PEEP level. But the other thing is to see if the lung is recruitable itself. That would be an indication for possibly using APRV if the lung is even going to respond. So here's the maneuver that started. And now it's at the pause point. And let's see if the lung is able to recruit. And now is the deflation limb. And as you can see, it's a very wide hysteresis. So this lung is recruitable. And it will be by adding extra PEEP or placing the patient on airway pressure release. Ventilation may be beneficial for this patient.